I came here to start my new life and study fine arts and make aesthetic vlogs every single week. So I was planning to start university in 2021. Did I do that? No. Did I miss pretty much all of the application deadlines? Indeed. You might think, how is this even possible? My grandmother, Dorothy, also says the same. I don't even know. I was just so stressed out and overwhelmed while working in China. I did spend eight months modeling in China. But maybe there was another reason why I didn't apply to universities. That being that I have no clue what I want to study or what I want to do with my life. Okay, no, actually I know what I want to do and I even applied for an internship this past summer to do this thing that I want to do and I did get the internship. But everything went wrong on the third day and I just quit. It was not a spontaneous move. It was very well thought out, a gradual process really. So I tried to be a production assistant for this um, video content production company and I love videography, cameras, and I really just wanted to learn more about it. And you know, I thought this is the perfect opportunity for me to learn that in practice. Well, really 95% of it was just bringing coffee to everybody and 5% was videography, which really makes a lot of sense because as an intern, I have no experience. So what do I think I would do on set? Like be a camera operator? No, obviously I'm gonna be the coffee person. And it just didn't feel right for me and I didn't enjoy the atmosphere, so I guess I'm glad I left. Really, I just left because on the third day I just started crying for no reason. And then I was just too embarrassed to come back, so. So could this be considered a failure? Possibly. You know, I just really wanted to learn something new and then just to use it right away in practice. Literally the sponsor of this video couldn't be more perfect for this situation. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with lots and lots of amazing classes for creators in many different fields. It's perfect for learning new skills and exploring your creativity. I am personally very interested in photography, videography, cameras, lighting, set design, editing, all of that fun stuff. And I was able to find so many useful and inspiring classes on Skillshare. And one of my all time favorite classes that I took on Skillshare was this one. It is called Portrait Photography, Shoot and Edit Instagram Worthy Shots and it is by Jessica Cobasi. I love Jessica Cobasi's YouTube channel and when I saw that she had a class on Skillshare, I had to take it. This class is very engaging and packed with useful information and tips from Jessica. I especially like how she edits colors in her photography and in this class she gives so many tips. There are no ads on Skillshare so you can stay focused on whatever you're learning. Also, they're constantly launching new classes so you will never ever run out of classes. And the first 1000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So. You can start creating today. Let's pause for a second. Have I shown you my socks? These socks are literally the best socks that I've ever worn in my life. In my 20 years of sock wearing experience. Top quality. But okay, actually I came to London with a little goal in mind. Um, to maybe, just maybe find a modeling agency here that would be interested in possibly working with me and trying out modeling in Europe. Because so far, everything that I've done modeling wise was in Asia, which I absolutely love, but I want to try something new. So my mother agency in my country tried to convince London model agents that this 
is very good. And I did actually get to meet a couple of agents. So around a week ago, I went to two different meetings with two different model agencies in London. And what can I say? It was not the most successful meetings that I've ever had. The first meeting took exactly two seconds. Um, the second one was significantly longer, a total of three minutes. So it looked very promising, but then around five minutes after I left the agency's office, I got an email that they were not interested, which is fine. And then a few days ago, I got a message from my mother agency that this first agency that I went to wanted to see me again. So I thought, okay, that's, that's fine. I have another two seconds to spare. Literally, I'm so nervous for her. OMG dude, same here. I hope it all goes well. You guys are all idiots. Honey, please stop. Let's search for more crumbs. I finished my meeting with this model agency. Um, I came into their office at uh, 9.59 and I left at 10.03. So out of those four minutes, three minutes and 56 seconds were spent waiting and four seconds were spent talking to the booker. But that is double the time that it took to do the last meeting with the same agency. So do you think that's a good sign or a bad sign? I don't know. I know that this agency definitely didn't want me um, because usually when you meet a, like a model scout, you already kind of know if they're interested. Um, and this one, this booker was not very interested. And you know, there's just literally nothing I can do about it because I look how I look. I can't change it. If some modeling agency likes me or some brand likes me, that's great. If they don't, that's fine as well. Thank you.